a very pleasant afternoon to you students. How are you doing today? Evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Um, hungry, but looking forward to, to meeting you guys for the first time. Or I think that about the others, only two students in the class. I doubt it. There are 10 of you. Fine so far, sir. Who are you? Thank you. Uh, they are, Papa. They are. Don't even reach home yet, but they are. They are. They are. All right. See if you're any home. Well, I don't so start driving because decide, I'm sir. not yet home. <laughs> not yet yeah, home. Just, driving just, home. Imagine, just imagine. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't start driving yet. I need to start you guys off first, you know, just to make sure that things are fine and then I will get into commute. Um, so I'm seeing 10 of you. I'm the 11th person and I see and recognize three of you. I recognize Kate, Paul and Clark. Ashanti, I would, we meet again here? Mm -mm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Is that a bad thing? Yes, sir. All right, so guess what? No. I give you permission from now to um to drop the course and pick it up when somebody else is teaching it. So I give it <laughs> I give it that permission. So um welcome the rest of you. I'm really looking forward to to meeting and greeting you all. Um I don't even want to start it, my little today is going to be a lot of a lot of housekeeping, letting you know what is expected of you. Um, yeah, what is expected of you, so that we start off on a good, um, good footing. Um, let me hear you. Let me hear what expectations you have of, of me before I give you the expectations I have of you. What are the expectations you have of me? Well, since, uh, since you said that, sir. Um, All right, before, before you do that, who is this? How, who is this? All right, do me a favor. Is when you start speaking, I'm going to ask you to just tell me your name, your full name, because what I do a lot is use voice recognition, um, you know, so I can know who is talking to me because I don't always have access to um, the participants to see who is speaking. So go right. ahead. Who's it? I'm I'm Carlos Williams. Um, in regards to your previous statement, truthfully, I just want you to tell me the learning process. Um, unobtrusive, basically. Mm -hmm. Just we if you if you give us the like like say the resources and we will we will make your life a lot easier, sir. You think? Oh, bless the Lord. That I love. I want my life to be easy. He said, my life is easy. The teaching and learning process becomes so much more easy. That's very nice. I thank you for that. No problem. And I, I promise to do that for you. Um, while you are all listening to each other, I want you to think seriously, who is going to be willing to put together a WhatsApp group for this course? Um, I need to have a WhatsApp group so that whenever I'm communicating, I can communicate one shot. One sure. of the things that I say, go ahead, please. Sure, I know me need Ashantia. Ashantia. No, she says, no, no, Ashantia says she know my teacher. So me no, me no want her, I no, 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 I mean, she says she know my teacher this time again. Sir, yes, do not say that. <laughs> Ashantia, what did you tell your, your lovely teacher a while ago? <laughs> eh? You say it's a bad thing. It's not a good thing, it's a bad thing. Anyway, I'm just pulling your legs, Ashantia. So if you want to go ahead and honey punch you, please feel free. So you can drop your information in the in the um in the chat. Ashantia has my information already, so she can go ahead and create that WhatsApp group. And um and the WhatsApp group is going to be exclusively for calculus one. Now let me just set some because today is really with, you know setting the groundwork. So when we start, we don't have to go back to no groundwork business. <clears throat> so let me declare I'm Christian. I'm Christian from the core, not just Christian. You know, some people just go to church and say, oh, I'm Christian. Mm -mm, I'm Christian from the core. Please do not send me, however, any daily morning prayers um, in the WhatsApp group. This WhatsApp group is going to be strictly for calculus one. 
don't copy no TikTok video that you think is funny into the group. I don't want to see any other information in the group except for calculus one. So if you see something on TikTok that is relating to the math, you may see something on limits or on continuity. You may see something on, on differentiation or integration that you believe is worthwhile, go right ahead and post it. If not, mm -mm. and anybody who can't follow my rules regarding the, the, um, the WhatsApp group, um, one of two things, either I'll remove you or I'll take myself out of the group, all right? So we, we, I want us to be able to respect each other's space and, um, and, 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 and time. Right, so just be very mindful of that. And if we, if we do those things, I mean, trust me, we'll have a fabulous time together. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, those of you who will be very successful in this course, you'll also have me for the second semester. If I am so selected to teach calculus too, you'll have me for calculus too. If the relationship don't work out too well, I'll ask them to find somebody else for calculus too. So let us see first before any of us get ahead of ourselves, what will happen and let us see. Um, how this calculus one will work, but it's really not a bad course. But before I get into my part, I need to hear the other expectations. So please, let me hear some more expectations of me. <clears throat> Good afternoon again. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm Lotto Oyo Davy. Yes, Lotto. And my expectation is for my fear, because I've been hearing about calculus one, calculus two, and, mm -hmm. and the math, maths are no, Mats and I don't work so well, but I am here with an open mind to learn as much. And I, I am expecting the delivery to be great mm -hmm. so I can understand. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank no problem. you. You're welcome, hon. All right, so um, Tariq Mendes, um, mm -hmm. one of my first expectations for you to clearly explain topics. And mm -hmm. um, second one would be like, what when we finish like going through the whole course and the different units and so forth if you could like have additional revision classes at least leading up to the final exam because those those classes always help like revision mm -hmm. classes going through past paper and so forth mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's it uh, no problem um sir oh mm -hmm. go on go on Hello? Oh, I thought somebody else was gonna go before me, so. Um, this is just something that, um, that, 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 um, that I realized, sir, um, person when it came to calculus, cause like, I, I don't know that textbook mm -hmm. that, that has like say everything that, 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 that is related to calculus. And mm -hmm. when I read the first chapter of the textbook, Mm -hmm. I started having cut um, the, I started having moments of confusion immediately because when, when I when I saw when I saw what they were discussing, I almost assumed that they were referring to a physics physics course because the is... All right. Um let me just let me just caution you there. Um be very careful. Don't just take home a math book is not like a social studies book, even at the CSEC level. It's not like the social studies book or the POB book that you can just read and just say, oh yeah, I know what it is. The bar trains the exchange of goods and services without the use of money. And trust me, anybody at POB, um, beyond third form, and they introduced it. And um, that's what the black and red book told me. Bar training is the exchange of um, goods and services without the use of money. I still remember that definition. It's not like that. We can, we can say, oh, Ashanti and I exchange. She gave me a pencil and I gave her an eraser. And the pencil is no man and the eraser is no hurt. So that means we just battered. No, the math is a little bit more intricate. And I'm going to tell you what is happening. <clears throat> it's when you miss a lecture, dog, you have supper. Because when you miss a lecture, and sir, go through the something, and sir, come back the following day or the following class, and sir, start teach, sir, a pick up from where sir left off. And if you miss a class, um, that's your funeral, really. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just telling you how important it is to come to class. So coming to class is not optional. Oh, my head hurt me, I'm not gonna to math class today. Oh no, um, dangerous, 
very dangerous. Um, Ashantio, do you have um, a copy of the, 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 my YouTube channel still? Yes, sir, I posted it in the group description. Very good, thank you, Honey Bunches. That's exactly what I was gonna ask you to do. Now, one of the things that I do, students, is I try as best as possible to, to assist you with the teaching and learning process, all right? So you're, we're going to be using Educosoft. Educosoft is one of those learning management systems that we use for, for exams. Now, let me tell you something. What is very important is completing your assessments and completing your assessments on time. Failing to do that, you fail the course. Failing to do that, you fail the course. No. Like pretty recently, when I marked a particular course over the summer semester, when I started seeing colors of the rainbow when my students weren't doing so well, I was able to speak to Erico and ask Erico to reopen the platform so that students can get an opportunity. It doesn't always happen. But when I saw what was happening, students were almost passing, but were failing. I said to myself, you know, let me go ahead and let me do what it is that I supposed to be doing. Um, um, now, this is what is going to happen. I'm coming to you. I soon, I soon take your question. This is what is going to happen. Not because I did that and I say this to you just now. It means that you're going to say, oh, sir, can you reopen Erica? No, it does not work like that. It does not work like that. The point I'm trying to make is that I will go through whatever it takes to get my students to learn. I think I am very patient. Um, I don't like a lazy student. I don't want you to be very, I don't want you to be bright either. Don't want you to be bright, but I don't want you to be lazy. You can, you can be the slowest student on earth, but you are not lazy. You and I are best friends. All right. Now, what I'm expecting of you is to complete your assignments on Edicosoft and complete your assignments on time. Yeah, man, 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 man the Dutch part. May I hear it? Matter of fact, you're too craving. Come out of the pot. Anyhow, so complete and complete your assignments on time. The other thing is, when I give you what I will call my, um, <clears throat> my notes as a reference point, I don't want you to just have the notes and just have the notes for having the notes sake and not doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. All right? The notes are to be used in conjunction with Edicosoft, in conjunction with the recordings. At the end of each recording, rubbish, at the end of each class, as soon as the recordings become available, I will upload those recordings to my YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, you will have access to previous Calculus One classes. So if it is that you go to, and I will label this your, your class, so I'll label it as semester one, 2022. So you know that this, this is your class. But if you think you want to scroll through the channel to find another Calculus One course, you can scroll through, find another Calculus One course. And what I try to do is, if it is that I'm doing limits and continuity, I will label the topics accordingly so that you don't have to scroll through to say which topic is this one, all right? So I'll try my best to say to this, um, this lesson is gonna be on limits and continuity or stationary points or differentiation or integration or multivariable functions. I was so labeled so that if you're studying and you don't understand something, I want to refer to the notes, you know exactly where to go to find those notes, all right? It takes time to prepare the notes for you also takes time. So what I'm saying to you, teaching online is requires two and a half to three times as much preparations than it is required to come to a face-to-face -face class. When I was teaching face-to-face, -face, I would just go to the class with a duster, two markers, maybe a third one if I'm doing graphs and I want to make a color in it, and that is it. I'll make up the questions on spot and I will teach. Now I'm required to prepare lessons to send off to you so I can do the explanation in class, et cetera, et cetera. It requires a whole lot. When you guys are sleeping, I am up finding questions, doing the solutions to those questions so that when I come to class, I don't have to be doing the solutions right there and then. 
but I can send out the solutions off to you. It requires a whole lot. Just as how, and if I am not prepared for a class, you will know because you will see the difference in my strategy and you can say, mm -hmm, sir, not prepared for class. One of the things I'm gonna to commit to you is to always being prepared for my class. No me dear class every time. All when me, all when me not feel well, me still come a class, especially that we are online. So if I am not well, you go leave in my bed, I never teach. Um, I expect you to, to put out as much energy for that to happen. So there are three things that I want you to remember. You always have your YouTube channel where you can have access to those recordings. Two, your Edicus office always there for you to do your work. Three, I'll send you the notes. So it is that you can have your stuff ready for me at all times. Therefore, you have, plus I will send you your syllabus. You have absolutely no excuse. Sir, I was not a class. Because best believe the recording would have been posted to the channel prior to the other class. So nobody should tell me, oh, sir, um, I wasn't here, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not entertaining that. No, I can be the very best lecturer and the nicest lecturer at the ECC. But I can go from zero to 100 in a millisecond. I don't like a rude student. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you live above crossroads, in crossroads or beneath crossroads or below crossroads, I don't care. I don't care who it is that you're related to. So everybody gets the same treatment. And if it is that I'm supposed to blast you in class because you don't do my work, I will blast you. Does it mean that I have less love for you? Absolutely not, absolutely not. Respect is, I first give you respect and I expect to get back that respect. So there is going to be that's, that line that separates lecturer from student. Yes, we can have a downtime when it is that we laugh and talk about things, but respect is going to be due every single time, barring none, barring absolutely none. Um, <clears throat> I will require you to, at some point in time, turn your cameras on. And sometime before I start my commute, I will turn my camera on so it is that you can, you can see who I am. Matter of fact, um, I forgot my earpiece. So I'm actually conducting the class just now from, the, from my cell phone. Um, it's a practice that I don't like because my cell phone rings ever so often because all the students have this number and all the students Sometimes they start to call me at the same time. So, um, so there, there will come a time when I'm asking you to, we'll be asking you to turn your cameras on. And especially when you're doing an assessment for me, your cameras must be on. If you don't have a reliable working camera device, you need to go and get one because your class is predominantly, not just math, but all your other classes will predominantly be online once it is at your evening student, predominantly online once you're even students. So I'm gonna ask that you get a graduate and you guys are computing students for the most part. So, you know, I'm not even worried about that. So I will just press pause for now. I just needed to get that out of the way before I give the, the, give the other students an opportunity to, to speak of their expectations. I was just a little excited to talk about my expectations. There are others um, like coming to class and coming to class on time and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I will speak to that um, afterwards. So I'll give somebody a certain opportunity now to tell me of their expectations. Um, so whoever is ready can go ahead. Um, incidentally, don't all rush me at once, right? Um, are you hearing me, guys? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I did ask for somebody else to go to let me know of their expectations, and nobody is unmuting. So I was just wondering who is next? Oh, all right. So let me tell you one of my other expectations. Um, so some students have a tendency when class is going on and a teacher asks a question and, um, and students sit in class and, and um, not respond to teacher and teacher asks a question and because they don't respond, teacher is gonna answer the question. Um, not this one. I will turn my camera off and I'll sit in class, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll mute my microphone and I'll sit in class and wait on you. Real talk. So when I ask a question, I'm not saying that, I'm not asking you to answer. I'm saying that you must answer. Because when you ask me a question in class, if I don't answer you, I'm sure you're gonna to complain to say that you're trying to get some, some clarification and the lecturer is not responding support and so on. So, you know, um, the good old book says, the measure with which you treat someone is the measure with which you are going to be treated. So if you want me to answer your questions, when I ask questions, I'm expecting students to answer. All right, so I'm going to go one more time. Who is next? Um, hello, Lisa. Go ahead for me, please. Yeah, you're hearing me? I'm hearing you now, go ahead. Okay, good evening. My name is Talia Wita. My expectation for this class is to learn as much as I can and really and truly understand the concepts. Okay. Anything else? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Thank you, Talia. Um, who's next? Sure, my station is to um, pass the whole course so I don't have to do it over at all. All right, say that again. I didn't hear that. Go ahead. My expectation is to pass the course. Okay. Mm -mm. Me not agree with you. Sir, what do you mean? <laughs> you, want to just Sir, pass mean? you want to just pass the course? Let me tell you what happens to people who just want to pass the course. You give me only enough to pass. And then when the exam comes and you fall um, under what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you get a 48%, um, you're going to say the man who wicked him can't give me two marks to just pass a course. No. So I want no, to. No, sir, get I don't mean it like that. Not oh, like that. Okay. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So you mean it that like you want to just do very well to see if you can get an A for the course? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you fall down, at least the worst case, you can get a B plus, don't it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I remember, you know, students, I keep saying, you know, I don't like teaching bright students, you know. If you're bright, that's fine. But one of the conditions is that you don't have to be bright to come into my class. What I much prefer is someone who is very determined and hardworking because the bright ones believe that they know more than the teacher and don't want to do what it is that they're supposed to do. And they are the ones who don't get the A's and get the B pluses because it thinks that they know everything. And then the ones who are, who are trying and they follow what the teacher says, they are the ones who get the A's, right? So. That's what I like. All right, who's next? Um, yeah, me again, sir. In in regards to that, sir, another thing that I want what I, that I, that I want to do in regards to your course is to um improve my GPA score because as it is right now, as as it is right now, it's a two point five, and and I hope by at least the by the end of like say the end of like say. The first semester, yeah, it at least goes us 2.7. And then from there, I can probably go, go up to like say, no, I'm a 3.2. All right, sorry about that. A call came in and just disrupted what it is that you're saying. Can you just repeat for me, please? Yeah, um, I can't say before, sir. I just want to um improve my GPA score because as it is right now, it's a 2.5. And I want to improve that to at least a 3. Um, well, where are you? Where, where are you in the program? You are where? Where are you in the program? You're just beginning year three? Yeah. Yes this, or no? Yes, this is the second, this is the second class that I'm going to. 
Okay, I'm, so okay, so you you just completed the associates, right? Yes. Okay, so the the two point five would have been for the associates. So you now get you now get a new start. So what was there before is not going to be counted towards this. So this is now our first start for the bachelor. Oh. Okay. Right. So you so you now get a second opportunity to start afresh. Let's see. Good. So so now it is that you now need to work so you can get get at least a three point oh at least a three point oh for your GP and preferably a 3.5, that would be fine. Mm, that's it. All right? So remember, it's yeah. a two plus two. So two years for the associates and then two years for the bachelors. Okay. So if it is that you, you're just beginning year three, it means that whatever you had from before would have been towards the, the, the associate degree. Mm, that's it. All right? Yeah, well, yes. The reason, well, the Truthfully, the, the main reason the main reason why I want to um to at least get it up there is to at least apply for um scholarships to pay for the rest of pay for the rest of the courses. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And once it is that you can do that, you should be good to go. That's the spirit. That's the okay. spirit. Come on, good job. Who is next? Is it everybody that went to no, adopt it? Oh well, sir, I proceed. So um, I have a reasonable um, expectation, and mm -hmm. I think that by the end of this course, inconsistent with the lecturer and student uh, relationship, so to say, I think I might have an intuitive grasp of everything taught in the course. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I've had not any former experience in calculus, which is daunting. So I mm -hmm. think that I'll have an intuitive knowledge. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Next. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you. Okay. My name is Oluwa Kwelemi Begike. And um, my expectation from this course is to learn more and that I want to, I want um, there to be a cool relationship between the teacher and the student because I had this calculus course is kind of tough. Mm -hmm. So I just want to learn and make sure I understand it very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who's next? Okay, good evening. My name is Arthur Lee Bright. Um, well, definitely came for my ear. Um, I had an um, unfortunate situation for the last um, care because I did it's a, re it's a redo for me, reset for me. Um, because I never I came to start the class um, late and I never um, utilized EDICASOF um, to complete the um, coursework in a timely manner to uh, maximize my grades. So definitely here for the A because I know what is expected and so I'm here for doing the work for it. Okay, so Ottilie, let me ask you, was it a difficult, difficult, difficult course? No, it was not a difficult course. It's just that um, I was trying to put in too much at the end of it, you know, and I think I did some, um, made some wrong choices in regards to some um, other courses that uh, I I was doing at the time as well. So no man, it's not just requires practice. Okay. Uh, the reason I asked that question utterly is that um I wonder you said something that was very important. You did not complete your assigned task on time and it was just way too much to to finish at the end. That's yes. what you said. Right. Yes, and that is a, that is the utmost truth that one could have said. Um, let me just explain what is going to happen for each for <laughs> whichever math course that I'm teaching you, and there are students here on the platform that I've taught in the past. So you're muted. All right, so I'm going to definitely see if I can switch 
device is just at the other device, the, 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 the microphone is not so good. And because I'm going to be in transit in, in, a, in a few. Um, but what I really want of you is, well, sorry, not, not of you. For me is that I don't want to, um, I don't want to do the, what do you call it now? The, um, the class on the cell phone because I do quite a bit of, do get quite a bit of calls. But Ottilie said something to me, just sent something to the class just now, and I want to just write that a little bit more. So which, for, for those of you who have taught in the past, the Educosoft gives you three pieces of assessments per week. So this is a 60 hour course, it's 15 weeks. So you're gonna have 15 weeks of um, assessments to do times three, and 15 times three is 45. You will have 45 pieces of assessments to do. Every bit of assessment must be completed. You're gonna get a homework piece. You're gonna get a practice quiz piece. And then you're gonna get the actual quiz. Every week you have assessments. No, I taught two math courses last semester and uh, every day I had to be speaking to those students. So I was not surprised at the end, was not surprised at the end when I had to reopen the platform for some students to complete some stuff because they just didn't listen. Not surprised that that happened. And I'm gonna to say to you, so once I speak and I have it on recording, I will just do what I need to do. The only reason I did it is because the failure rate was so high and so many students were so close to passing the course. So the, the, the ball is in your court. If you want to pass a course, you do what it is that you're required to do. It's not about me, it's about what it is that you put in. So too much is given, much is expected. If you put in a little bit, it's a little bit you're going to get. If you put in a whole lot, you'll get your A+. All right, it's not about me, it's about what it is that you are going to be putting in. So I'm depending on you, I'm depending on you to do what is required of you. If you give me what it is that I ask of you, there is no way you can fail the course. And I promise you that hands down 100%, if you give me what I ask of you, you cannot fail. We're not asking you. If you come to class and put in the work, you can't fail. What some of you have been doing, and I can tell you because I see it, some of you have not been completing the work on your own on Edikosoft. So as a result of that, when assessments come in and I give you the assessments, you can't do the assessments on your own because you did not do the work on Edikosoft by yourself. And I know because it shows. So there are several things that I can tell you just by completing those assessments. And you may wonder, but sir, oh, you know that. Don't worry about that. I won't tell you how it is that I know, but I'm going to tell you that I know, right? Honesty is also very important, very, very important. And once I find a student who is a dishonest student, it's done. You do not say done, it finish. You and I can't get along. We don't. We're not working in the same league because you are dishonest, right? God is watching you. It's a Christian institution that we attend, and we need to do Christian things. All right. So thank you, Arthur, for, for, for what it is that you've said. Um, I know you, you've explained some of the stories to me from last semester. Really trusting and hoping that you can get the A because you, you have the propensity to get that A. Who is next? Um, Sir? Go on, Joanna. Go on, okay. Miss Hardy. Sir, I was just saying that I'm, I'm about to leave, so I'm just going to log on from my phone from the car. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, dear. Is it, is it Johanna? Go? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, that's fine. I just wanted to know. Okay. All right. So remember, no, guys, when you're talking, you need to tell me your name so that I can. I can. Uh -huh. So that you can know what it is that you, you, you need to do. Um, but outside of that, you should be good to go. You should be good to go. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Yes. Come on. I mean, yes, me, sir. It just, this is in reference to the echo soft thing that you were mentioning earlier. Um, when I first, when you were, when we were first introduced to it, um, and, and I was talking to one of my, um, classmates about how we would go about completing it. Mm -hmm. The first instinct w was to, to, um, at least because there were like, I, I guess 20 at a time. Mm -hmm. I, my strategy was like to at least do like th at least three per, um, week. And, and that's the current strategy. 
truthfully, I only end, ended up doing two, but I was speaking of him whether or not we should do more than that. And he said, like, say, truthfully, trying to do all of them at once would be a struggle. And we and he said that it would be better for us to, like, say, postpone like, doing most of them um, for, for at least a short period of time. So I decided to, like, say, do run, do one of those um, course, I, I guess, exercises randomly. Mm -hmm. And I realized... And it was and it was one of the practice um tests. And mm -hmm. the score that I got, mm -hmm. um <laughs> it was so bad that I that that from that point on when I whenever I started using Microsoft, mm -hmm. I started keeping a record of like say the previous questions and seeing and seeing their patterns with, with each of them. So so that I so that I didn't um slip up behind slip up behind that because that that's fine. Stung, stung me. And that's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um let me respond to one of the questions you asked. Yes, we can move ahead of the lecture now. This is why you have the editor software that gives you everything all at once. So we expect you, if you can move ahead of the lecture to complete the assessments, go right ahead. Don't wait on me to present the material to you. You will have the material beforehand. You will have every single thing that is going to be required to you from the start today until the end, sometime in December, for you to write your exam, you'll have that at, at hand. So if you work, if you work ahead of me, so that when I come to class and I'm presenting the material, you say, oh, that's what editors of meant when they put it like that. It makes my life much easier. So which is one of the things that I'm saying, go ahead, work ahead of me, and then come to the class for me to give any further explanation. But when you just sit down there and don't do no work, and then wait for me to come to class to teach you the material. You're going to get frustrated because you're, getting, you're not going to be able to follow what is happening. So work ahead of him. Even if you don't understand what it is that I'm presenting, still read through it. Because in reading through it, something will come out of it. You're going to say, oh, yes. That's what they meant, sir. I never understood what they meant, you know. Yeah, man. Read ahead. Do your own preparations before class. Trust me. You're good to go, you know. I can't, if I, if I tell you anything other, other than the truth, I'm going to be deemed a liar. All right? So, yeah, you're, you're, you're good to go in that regard. All right, um, I give, uh, go, ahead. Uh, um, go ahead. I have a concern. That's the, and the, the, when I was in probability, the, mm -hmm. as the, there are some topics where the method used there is different from what the teacher teaches. And when I use the word the teacher teach and the one on ethical mm -hmm. subs, I do get um, different answers. So I just I just stick, stick to the ethical subs one to, just to pass the, the course. I don't know, it's just right. kind of confusing. Something. All right, so, okay, I hear you. All right, so the main, the importance of it is it's to show you the different all right, so there's no one way of doing a mathematical problem. There's no one way of doing solving a mathematical problem. There are several ways. Close the door. Somebody's coming. Um, there are there are there are several ways to complete a mathematical problem. So one of the things that I would say to students is look at the methodology that is presented on Microsoft. Look at the methodology that is look at the methodology that is presented also um, from your lecturer and whichever of the methodologies works best for you, go ahead and use it. Because I will not say to you, you must use my method, but I'm just saying to you, you should get the correct answer. So whichever method that you choose to solve a question, um, it really doesn't matter, but just make sure that the solution to the question is worth it, meaning, that you are following the methodology as well. It doesn't matter if you're using Edicasoft method or you're using my method. Mm -mm, don't mean nothing to me. Just make sure that you do what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Fair enough? Okay, sir. Man, so any oh, other? Sir? Go ahead. Yes, sir. It's a similar concern. Um, mm -hmm. So well, from my experience, I recall doing mostly um, the ethical soft methodology and it's mm -hmm. very different in complexity and not very simple as uh, the teacher would have wanted us to learn it and so it's quite difficult working with ethical soft and that's how you know it's different when we use medical soft for exams because 
essentially what we're doing is just working the calculations by mm -hmm. your method. And so, mm -hmm. but not for the assignments and not for the classwork. So mm -hmm. I may suggest here, if you could, you know, if you could have, if you could make us use Edicosoft in the same way as we, you know, do the exams, use it in the exams for the assignments and the classwork, because it would be easier for us and we would use your methodology for All right, so as I said before, um, that I'm not, I'm not going to be able to promise you. Uh, I am gonna teach you the methodology that I believe is, 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 is easier. Um, if when you're going through, all right, put it this way. Who is this that is speaking to me? Daniel, sir. Daniel, okay, Daniel, thank you. Um, can you quote Daniel? Uh, I, would, I would rather not answer that, sir. You can't cook. So I can't use that cooking something. You can't cook because if you could have cooked it, I'd say, yeah, all right. Um, no, I'm cross with him. Can't cook, man. If him could have cook. So Daniel, what, what can I ask? What can I? Can you can you drive Daniel? Negative. Negative. All right, Daniel. Um. All right. Let me let me let me let me create a scenario. So, let me create it. And I know Arthur can cook. I know she can cook. But let me just use this 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 example. Let me use this example. So. Arthur Lee may be saying, and tell me if I'm wrong, Arthur Lee. Arthur Lee may be saying that I am going to prepare um, curry chicken. And Arthur Lee may say she's going to burn the curry first before she does anything else. Before she put in the chicken in the pot, she's going to burn the curry in the oil because she wants to make sure that the curry is well um, cooked out. But somebody else on the other, Mr. Shan may say, I ain't burning no curry. Me I throw the curry pan me chicken, and me go season, season it up, and make sure it get into all of the bone, them and thing and thing, and then I put it down on a slow fire support and so on. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that I'll still have curry chicken at the end of the, of the process? Yes, sir, but your belly around. Your belly not around. Don't burn the curry. Yeah, and, and that's the point I'm making, you know, because some people grow up on them granny and them mummy. I tell them, say, burn the curry. Burn the curry first, burn the curry. In particularly, I've never had um running belly, quote unquote, from preparing my own curry chicken. And I don't, I don't practice to burn the curry. I don't. So what's the point I'm making? The point I'm making is to each his own, different methodologies, but at the end of it, at the end of it, the results come out to be the same. You don't know when you go to buy curry mutton, curry chicken, curry fish, if this is what it is that they do. You don't know how they prepare the food. That's the point I'm making. So it, it, the, 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 the methodology, you will have to outline your methodology. This is what I do. I burn my curry or I put my curry on the meat and whatever it is, but you have to, you have to outline your methodology. This is all I'm asking you to do. When you're doing the math for me, you outline the methodology. Once you outline the methodology and I can follow the methodology, it is plausible, you're good to go. When I say good to go, Sir? good to go. I have absolutely no issue with you, none whatsoever, none. Sir? Right? Go ahead. Sir, you're breaking, you're breaking out. I'm hearing you. Go ahead, man. I'm hearing you. I'm saying that you're mm -hmm. breaking up. Talk to the teacher. I'm saying that you're breaking up, sir. Oh, I'm breaking up? Yes, sir. Yes, 
Are you hearing me better now? Hello, anybody hearing me? No, oh, I'm clear, sir. Sir, I hear you. Sir, we're hearing you. Sir, so we're hearing you. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Uh, we're here. We hear you. Oh, you hear? Okay, so let me ask you. Before the students said that I was breaking up, were you hearing me, or I was breaking up for everybody? Sir, I wasn't hearing you. Uh, Joanna, I wasn't hearing you, sir. All right, hold on. I'm trying to. All right, I'm trying to remedy the situation. Okay. Um. So what is happening? All right. So I was using. All right. I am, as I said before, I'm in commute and I was in commute and um, I am in commute and my system, I think. All right. I'm actually trying to switch over, hold on. No, 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 no. Uh, sir? Yeah, man, I'm here. Yes, sir. Um, I could hear you quite clearly. Are you hearing me now? Well, yes, sir. There's just a small right. data, but it's okay. We can manage. All right, then. Um, it is something that I find that happens with this online medium. Uh, sometimes you will have some issues. So what I do, what I've invested in is a data package and um, recording in progress. Right, I'm trying to hold on. Okay, so I just disconnected from from a from my cellular phone so that I can have greater leverage with what is happening here. Uh, all right. Um, All right. Is there anything else? Um, some, I, mean, you, I know you were all talking about Edeco, but I don't know if you got the point I was making. It, the, the methodology for me is is neither here nor there. What is important is that I can follow your method and um, um, you know what it is that we are supposed to be doing. It is once it is that you can do what it is that I am expecting of you using the platform it's good to go i recognize though that some lecturers um don't use the ethical soft platform the way it is to be used and um that i spoke about in a meeting with my team when we met and i'm hoping that there is or will be 
an improvement in that regard. So that I'm not going to be worried about um, anytime soon. Uh, right. I, when we're going to have it open so we can use it? Sorry? Do we have a timeline for the platform to open? And um, do we have a lecture or something for us to know how to use it, the persons who are new? Oh, yeah, man. I, Lati, 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 what kind of question that, Lati? Yes, man. Not oh, sure. Not sure. In the in the in the in the ocean, so you know. I mean, you you, I, you you may not know. You may not know. So that me um. You may not know. So, I forgive you. I'm not going to throw you out into the deep, and expect you to swim or sink. Okay, then, sir. Yeah, man. Relax your good self. All right. Um. So that's what I'm trying to do, actually. Tonight is not really much of a teaching, teaching night. I just want to get all of this out of the way. As I said before, I'm in commute. So I just want you to know what is happening. Um, all right, so what I should be doing is sharing my screen so that I can, so that you can see what it is that I'm doing here. Um, share my screen application Edicosoft. Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. We're seeing it. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me, guys? Yes, yes sir. sir. We're hearing you. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. I'm having a little difficulty here. I'm, I'm actually trying to share my screen, but it's not sharing. And um, it sounds as if I am so distorted. Oh, I got logged out. Hold on a minute, guys. I got logged out. Oh, I don't want to do this to me now, man. Oh. Okay.
ever connect to. All right, so I, I, I definitely can't um, share from my, my cell phones. I'm actually using a device, but I got disconnected and I'm trying to reconnect. So stay around with me, please. As I said before, I won't go, I won't go today up until seven. I just want to do a little orientation with you and then leave you to do some reading for me until next class. All right, do me a favor. Each of you log on to educosoft.com for me, please. E-D-U-C-O-S-O-F-T. Educosoft.com. E D U C O S O F T dot com. Say it again for me, please. I was asking what you should do after you log on. <laughs> you hear me? Oh yeah, man. Just, just hold on. Just get on to edit. Right. Just get to editforstuff.com. I'm just trying to to bring this thing up, but it's misbehaving. I'm hearing you. Yeah, I heard what you said. Thanks. Okay, sir. I'm very disappointed with what is happening today. Yes. It never normally gives me um, The meeting has an Mr. Shan. Are, are you hearing me, guys? Sir, we hear you. Sir, are you hearing me? Hello. Oh, you hear me? Okay, good. Well, um, that is not, I don't know what. Let me switch to my data.
I guess not. Call your account now. Is there anyone hearing me at all? Yes, sir, I'm hearing you. Yes, so sir, I'm you. Yeah, you just start hearing me while or you heard when I asked a question and I didn't, I didn't answer me. We just hear it speaking. You just hear you just hear now, sir. You just hear me now. All right. So I don't know what is happening. All right. Oh. Me, I had to do a reboot. Yeah. Say it again. I said hum sometimes, sir. Hum sometimes. I'm sounding better now. Well, that was what I said, but yeah, that works as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I hate it does though. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it. All right. So because I'm meeting you for the first time, I don't have your information to do on Erica. So I was going to show demonstrate to you so that when uh, the the WhatsApp group is set up and you send the information and I get you on Erica. Um, but this thing, 5MR. It just, all right, hold on. I'm trying again because I had to disconnect. So I'm trying to, to get connected to the device again to see if I can stream what it is that I want to show you. Uh, oh, sir? Yes, sir. Is there a WhatsApp group? There is. There is. Oh, well, I'm not a part of it. Uh, can Stop I... your information in the chat for me, please. Um, my able um, administrator will add you to the group. Okay, there goes the link. Sure. There goes the link. All right, so let me try this one more time now. Okay, Tell me if you see my screen now. Yes, sir. Okay, Woo. thank you, Lord. Finally. All right. So, I'm sharing the screen because I want you to be able to see what is happening here. All right, so that is this is this is Erica Soft. E D U C O S O F T, and you go to ericasoft.com. And what it is that I'm doing here for my username, I'm going to be putting in my email address. This is what you'll be doing sometime um, later, and then I'm going to be putting in my password. And then it's going to say, I'm going to go to login. Then I must have those five green ticks. One, two, three, four, five green ticks. Once I have those five green ticks, I click continue. And then all of this is populated. All right. So um, I don't have any active things taking place right here that I'll have to get sorted, but I'll just demonstrate some things to you. Um, let me go to my summer term that just ended. Let me go to my foundation concept one for argument's sake. Um, let me go to foundation concept one. Um, I want to find one where it is that is Okay, so let me go to Algebra 1 for argument's sake. All right, so you click on the course, you go to, you click on Go. So this is what the course would look like. Now, what happens is, let me go to Student View so that you see exactly what happens here. When you log on, this is what you're going to be seeing. To the left of the screen, you're going to be seeing your course tools. 
So you have course tools, resources, communication, my account, and survey. Course tools is what you're going to be using mostly. So when you click on course tools, you see quite a number of things populated. What are some other things? Your syllabus, your tutorials, your assessment, your Dropbox, your grade, your activity report, your attendance, your frequently asked questions, your bookmark on your notepad. Those are the things that I'm going to be focusing on for the next 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'll dismiss you because I'm going to, I need to go and get access to it to give you um, your access to the Edicasoft. So when you click on syllabus, you will see a screen populated that will give you your syllabus. It says syllabus not available at this point. I don't have access to calculus to just yet. As soon as I get access to calculus to between tonight and tomorrow morning, it's India. So India is 10 and a half hours ahead of us. Let me see what time it is there now in India. It's at it's four forty one, four forty one a.m. So by the time I get home, say in another half an hour, it will be after. It will be about five fifteen. So by seven o'clock tonight, I should be given access to the platform because it's early early morning for them there now. So as soon as I get access, I'm gonna get you the stuff so what i'm going to ask you to do for me in the interim is to uh give me your what i'm going to ask you to do i don't want to collect it in my um privately and i'm going to tell you why my cell phone is no longer my cell phone my cell phone now belongs to excelsior and there are students who are sending me messages that i don't know because i don't have your contact saved to my phone so if you choose to send me your information privately, chances are I cannot, I will not read it. I get tons of WhatsApp messages on a daily basis, and sometimes I really can't go through all of them. However, if when you WhatsApp me within the group, I know I have a responsibility to go through my calculus group because those are my students. I put all of you in one place. I don't have your numbers stored to my phone. So what I'm going to also ask you, I don't want anybody, I recommend that nobody put their name as Hot Girl Susie or Muscular Man Shand. I want you to put your name so I can, when I look into the group, I can say, oh, this is Kate's, this is, um, I don't even know the names of the students that are here, um, Barrett, and this is Hall, and whoever else it is, so that I can know the ones that I'm referring. All right? So if you can put a name that can be identified. So if I need to speak with Tariq, I know this is Tariq number. I don't want to see faces on the stuff. And these are just some etiquette for, 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 for WhatsApp. When you're doing WhatsApp for, for educational purposes, it's different from when you're doing WhatsApp for your friends. All right? So if I need to touch base with you, I know exactly who it is to touch base with. So I'm going to ask that the information be, 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 be centralized in the group if there's something that you want to speak to me privately about it is important that you first get my attention in the whatsapp group and then we can take the conversation outside of the whatsapp group which is that you can whatsapp me privately but if you're going to send me messages trust me students i have students college wide that i don't know who i'm speaking to but they get my number i don't know how but they get my number and your messages will go unanswered. And I'm telling you straight up. Get my attention in the group first. And then I can say, no, let, let us talk out of the WhatsApp group. Message me directly. All right? So what I'm going to ask you to do for me is, within the group, if you could just copy your email address. Because your name will be there. Because I can only use the ECC email address. Copy me your email address so the first person to send the email address in the WhatsApp group that is created. You're going to copy that message, add your email to it, so at least 
I have all the emails together. Or put it this way, just put your email addresses in the in the WhatsApp group. Just put your email addresses in the WhatsApp group and I'll go through and add you as soon as I get access. Because I must get access no later than before midday tomorrow so I can put you all on so that you can use some of the time to go through and read because I'm going to give you some reading activity to do on Edicosoft for me in preparation for class on, on Thursday, God's willing. All right? So that's, and your syllabus will be populated right here. So you'll be able to see your syllabus. That is going to be your responsibility is that you're going to be working alongside with me um, with your, with your Edicosoft so that you will ensure that I'm completing all that I'm supposed to be completing um, on the platform. So if it is that it's, oh no, sir, but you left out um, the indeterminate form, hold me accountable. Hold me accountable to ensure that I am completing everything on the syllabus. That is going to be your responsibility. And then you're going to be having your tutorials. Now your tutorials will show you all the things. So for this particular course, which is Mathematics 1 Algebra, there are seven such units in the course. So indices and logarithms, um, you won't do indices and logarithms, but you'd have done nothing discrete math, I believe. So when you open out, click on the plus, you'll see the courses or the topic expanding out in granular form. So you need to learn to identify and use exponents. This is going to be your tutorial activity. So if I click on the tutorial activity, it takes me into another screen that I will now have to share um, as a new share because you are not going to be seeing that. So let me put that as a new share. And it gives you that information. There. Right, so it gives you that information. Wherever you see this hand, sometimes it comes as a fiery hand, you click on it. So it's pointing on definition. And it is telling me what exponents are. Of course, yes, this is not your course. Your course is not yet available to me. I'm only demonstrating something to you. So you can add up, press this, the, 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 the space bar, or you can click here in order to move on. Or if you want to be like a self portal, you can click auto run and all the information populates um, to the platform. When you would have read through and understand, it tells you what is going to be the next activity. And the next activity is going to be your illustrations. And it moves to the illustrations and it gives you that bit of information. You can either press a space bar or that orange button. And also you can um, go ahead and click the auto run and the auto run will give you access to all the information. It has no audio, right? We're not promoting any lazy man writers. We want you to read and understand. Here, what is also important in using Edicosoft is when you go on Edicosoft and you'll see something that you don't understand, you can feel free to screenshot it and drop it in the group and you ask your students, your classmates, hold your classmates accountable that they are reading the information. Don't wait for Mr. Shan to come because if you know me, and there are a few students here who, who do, um, you know, I am up and about. I'll always be at your classes. But outside of class time, I'm up and about starting something or doing something. So if I don't respond to you, please don't wait on me, Sashand. You go ahead and say, you know what, let me give it an attempt. And when you give the attempt and I get settled and I'm going through the WhatsApp group, remember, you know, I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to go through my WhatsApp group at least once a day just to make sure that my students are fine, you always have contact with your lecturer, et cetera, et cetera. I have that responsibility. So what I'm going to do... All right, hold on for me, please. All right, um, sorry about that. My VP was calling, so let me just 
respond to her request and then um, all right but since it's going to be important thank you thank you thank you um shantia um for, for for doing for putting this thing together so very quickly my goodness very nice and i'm seeing the whatsapp messages coming in with the id numbers very nice with the email addresses sorry very nice um let me just check to see so far if it's all ecc i, I can only add the ecc but very good you guys are doing very well love this class so what i'm going to ask you to do is what i'm going to ask you to do for me let me go back to zoom here come on what i'm going to ask you to do for me is to ensure right so if you're doing something i it's not so clear drop it in the group hold your classmates accountable to say boy you know i'm doing this and i don't understand it anybody get it and I will see the ones who are responding. Matter of fact, on Editor Soft, I have something there that I call um, Group Something New Share um, Application um, that I can actually give points for. All right, so hold on now. Hmm. New Share my application i need to go back to i don't know what is what is happening here to not feel like i don't know how to use zoom and that's not the truth you know new share Lord. All right. Let me just go on to that one and, and finish because I don't understand what is happening. All right. So clearly I had to close that one. I didn't want to close it, but it wasn't working. All right. So just just screenshot, utilize what it is that needs to be um needs to be done up so it is that you can share the information and all of that is there so if you want now um if you want to move to equations um you can either click the plus button here to expand i click the minus button to, to contract or i click anywhere in the green double click and um it comes up so anywhere in the green, I, I can double click or I can use the minus button. It doesn't matter which one I want to do. All right. Um, your assessments will be populated. Your assessments will be populated. Uh, I can't tell you how many of them you'll get just yet, but of course it may be about 45 because we have three pieces to do per week. Don't look at the number 45. Just look at what it is that I'm expecting you to do. What I'm expecting you to do is to complete your work on time if you pace yourselves to do three pieces a week you will finish on time there are some students who would want to work ahead and go through with their tutorials and move ahead of their lecture those students oftentimes are the ones that are in a better position at all points in time you will know your grade what i try to do is to whenever whenever the mid semester is given late it puts me into a bind because it means that we have the mid-semester and exam pretty close to mark. But when the mid-semester is administered on time, in the middle of the semester, I know I'll be marking your papers on time. I'll be giving you back your papers. And then you will know what is your final, your, 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 your total coursework grade before you go into the exam. I'm a stickler on that. I love when students are able to find out what percentage they are going into the exam with. So they know exactly what it is that they need to do. You have your activity report where it is that you can see your class attendance. You can see how often you use the platform, how, how you move on, so forth and so on. Um, you have some frequent, frequently asked questions here. You have your resources, your communication. You can send an email via the platform. It is done similar to how it is that you use your, 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 your 
Google, your Gmail, your your Yahoo, etc. Um, you 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 can compose email messages to me, um, you know, or to your classmates, ex, you know, but for whatever request it is. All right. So if I want to compose, I go down to compose, and I can say, all right, I need to send something to Ashantia. I can go ahead and I can click Ashantia Clark and I can send a message and so it works just like we'll send a normal email. All right. Um, discussion forum is what I was talking about. So what I can do, I can also give you some questions in discussion forum where it is that I'm forcing you to have a conversation with your classmates and I can also put some points to your discussion forum. The course is a 60, 41, 60% for the exam, 40% for the, for the, um, for the coursework you are going to be given three essay type questions. Well, I'm not sure what it would be for this round of examinations. I know for the last two and a half years, we've been doing online exams. But for this time around, I'm thinking that they may want to have face-to-face -face exams. So I want you to get prepared, not because you're doing an online exam, I mean, online lectures, it means by, you know, automatically that the classes, the examination, the assessments will be online. They will very well be face-to-face. -face. So let me just put that out there from now. They may be online, but I'm going to ask you that to prepare, to prepare for the face-to-face -face modality. All right? Now, I know what we normally do for the online is somewhat different from what the face-to-face -face was. For the face-to-face, -face, you normally are given four questions. Hold on a minute, please. So normally for the face-to-face, -face, you are given four questions and you select your best three. Normally for the face-to-face, -face, you're given four questions and you select your best three. Now, for the online exams, what they have been doing is to give three questions and all questions are compulsory. And all questions are compulsory. So I want you to get yourself prepared for that. Get prepared for, be given four questions, I answer any three. Or to be given three questions to answer all three, right? So I, I can't tell you at this stage what the modality is going to be. Can't tell you. But you'll also get 20 multiple choice. So whether or not you need face-to-face -face or the online, you will still get 20 multiple choice. Because if you're doing the face-to-face -face exam, you're going to be given three questions at 20 marks each. So you get four questions at 20 marks each and you select any three. So it's gonna be three times 20, that's 60, plus your 20 multiple choice, the paper is marked out of 80. Whether or not you're doing face-to-face -face or online, the paper is marked out of 80, all right? Um, and then well, what I normally do is to send announcement to students. So if I'm not seeing any movements going on, I will send an announcement. If I'm seeing a student doing very well, I will also send an announcement and big up that student. Thank you for completing your assignments on time. You are doing very well. Keep up the good work, so forth and so on. All right? So that's what this is. And the truth of the matter is, educational self is not difficult to navigate. It's not difficult to navigate. If you, if you go through what it is that, um, when you get access to it um, in a few hours, I guarantee you that once you go on once, and you start playing around with it, you'll find how easy it is to navigate. How easy it is to navigate. If you need to speak to your instructor via the platform, you just click on my instructor and um, it's, you can, no, that is my account. So I'm not into the student account. So uh, let me go back to home. So in your student account, if you have an issue, you can click on my instructor I'm the instructor, that's, that's why that screen came up. You can click on my instructor and um, you can send me a direct message. All right? 
um one of the things i'm going to answer for i don't want any of you to expect when you when you send me a direct message that serving stop i respond to you immediately remember i have other responsibilities within the institution but one of the responsibilities of mine is to make sure that i i, I check my whatsapp um, at least once once a day and pretty much i say to your assessments you can you can navigate your your desktop accordingly if you want your courses to be over here you put your courses if you want your messages you don't want to hear nothing from a teacher you can put your messages all the way down there the announcement because serving big up you can put your announcement up top um the schedule you may decide that you know i want to see my schedule because i want to use my calendar on the stuff and if it is that you want to keep this like that you can go ahead and you can click um you can click here to keep your current setting so save the current layout so if you, this is the layout that you love you can click that layout if you don't want it you can go back to your original setting um there um you know you can you can do you can do so many things with the platform you know if you want to see all the assignments you can click on that and it brings up all the assignments you have no assignments just yet um so forth and so on i am going to take my pause right here and say are there any questions at all do you think that this is something that you can commit yourself to yes sir yeah, man. Anybody else has um? Wow, there are so many of you. Woo. So my email is not activated yet by the school. All right. Um, no problem. You, I, you, you're, you're transferring at Latoro. No, I was there from two thousand and three. Okay. All right. So you are, you are a long time family member. Oh, <laughs> no, sir, you're not old. Not a thing about his old. You're just a long time family member. When well, they are foreign and then come back to uh, Jamaica. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you have the Irish Spring here. Yeah. And you're good to go. All right. So, um, okay, Nicole. That's here. All right. So when you come to class, that's here. I'm going to ask you to put your full name for me, please. Um, it's going to be very important that that is done. Um, Orion is here. All right, so I'm just glancing through my list just to make sure that I am keeping a mental view of those who are at class tonight. Kamoy, Erlington, Terry, Tony. All right, are there any other questions? I will just leave you here now. Um, Miss Kate, are you uh, here? Yes, sir. Okay. I have a question. I have a Go ahead for me, please. So I have a question about what should you put into the to field uh, of the interface for communicating or sending like an email, quasi I think. Um, you're talking about it. No, you, we are sending the email to you put in the to field. <clears throat> so if you send the email, send it again. You put the email in it, sir. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Uh, I thought it was like a username or something like that. Okay. No, I put the email. I put the email in the to field, man. Um, kids, I will remember to that to I will touch base with you guys in a few. So before I I start my commute, I'm still on the road, and of course I can't be driving and teaching at the same time. But as I said before, tonight it wasn't really a a teaching teaching night. It's just to show you. We talk about some housekeeping and to demonstrate the Edicasoft platform to you. Um, as I said before, I will I will definitely get access to the Edicasoft in a few. It is now it is now five or four a.m. in Bangalore, and um, they are ten and a half hours ahead. So by the time I get home, it is almost six o'clock. So I will send the email at that time for the for, for giving access to the platform and you know hopefully i will get it before i go to bed tonight so i can populate the the your access once your access is populated um for those students who i'm going to be promoting meaning um students i would have taught in uh, all right so some of you would have used some of you would have used um Edicosa for discrete math or pub and stats or foundation courses, I have an option to promote you from those, um, which is an easier process for me. When I promote you, you may not get 
an email notification to say that you have received access. But what I'll do, I'll send a general message through the WhatsApp group to say, please to check Erikos off, your access is granted. For those persons who, like Latoya, who, you know, is our foreign cousin, may not get that promotion because 2003 we weren't using Erikosoft. So when I put her information on, she will get an email to say you have been added to Erikosoft. All right. So once it is that I've completed this stuff, I will say, please go ahead and check. You're going to go ahead and check to make sure that your email and your default password works. And then I will say to you how to go ahead. Matter of fact, before I even say to you, let me show you how to go ahead and do it because I'm expecting that you do it. Excuse so me, once, sir, sir, I won't get an email. Remember my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You won't get one just yet. Yeah. You won't get one just yet. No, you won't, you won't, you won't get one just yet. Um, matter of fact, let's tell you what I will ask you to do is to send me in the group your personal email, and then I will update your personal email on the system to the ECC email, and just transfer it over, so that at least you're not disenfranchised for now. As soon as I get the stuff. So all of you, your default password is going to be welcome or lowercase. When you get that, you're going to click on my profile. When you click on my profile, you're going to say change email address. No, lie. Change password. Reset password. And when you click on reset password, you're going to go ahead and create a new password. It's very, very important, especially that you have given me your email addresses in the group. If you keep your default as welcome, anybody can get into your account. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead and you change your password. Very important. Go ahead and treat it just like how you treat your ABM card. All right? Very important. Or your email card or your access to your cell phone. All right? Um, go ahead, please. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. So like how I already have um, Edicus of you, just add the course to it, right? Um, you have Edicus of which course? Sir, I had it for probability theory and pre-calculus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it, it so you, it, all right. So it's you, you already have an account, but it's just that if you log on to, if you log on to your existing accounts, you're not going to be seeing calculus one because that is not that course has not been added. So you always have access to your your past courses, your expired courses. So yes, when I give you access, it will tell you that you are now added to calculus one. If you're doing multiple courses, it will give you an option to change course. So, for example, if you look to the left, uh -uh, right of the screen, it says instructor view or change course. If I was doing multiple courses, the multiple courses will be populated here, and I can click on the course that I want. So, if you're doing more than one, if you're doing two math courses, um, for argument's sake, you click on change course, so it is that you can get those courses, um, whichever course you want. Um, by just clicking that 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 link. Any other questions before I close? All right. If not, just to remind you, um, it's not a difficult course. I don't want anybody to come and tell me, like Miss Lottie did, that you don't like maths and you it's long time you do it. And mm -mm, that's not my concern. You're good to go as long as you come to class you pay attention on 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 what it is that we're supposed to be doing you are going to be good what i'm going to do as soon as i get home i'm going to send you i'm going to send you something um some notes on on limits is it limits lord yes i'm going to send you some notes on limits so that um you can read through whether or not you understand it is not my concern just read through it so that when I come to class and I ask a question, did you read through? Your conscience will be your guide and said, yes, sir. But sir, I don't understand it. It's not my concern. Then I will go through the notes and I guarantee you that by the end of the session, you'll be good to go, all right? What I do is I will send you the notes via WhatsApp, which is why the WhatsApp is very important. I find WhatsApp to be very important for me. I send it WhatsApp. I don't want to send an email because email people can say, sir, I didn't see the email. And I send it WhatsApp. I can view that you have received it. All right. Um, and it's just easy access. Uh, so I will do that when I get home, send you some stuff. So it is that you can read through. Um, when you get your access to Educosoft, you can start reading through your tutorials. 
Um, remember our sessions, I think, are on a Tuesday, five to seven, on a Wednesday, mm -mm, Thursday, seven to nine. Am I correct? Am I correct? Um, yes, sir. I think so, sir. All right, good. The final thing that I'm going to say before I wish you gentle Jesus, meek and mild. This course is 60 hours long. 60 hours long. We have a 12-week semester, short semester. And in order for me to get my 12 weeks, I mean my 60 hours, if you divide something by something, you may end up with five. Okay. I only need five hours. On your timetable, you only have four. I have done this in the past. I don't want, I'm, I'm going to give you the back room before I tell you what it is. I have done it in the past. Um, it didn't kill the students. After the first class or the second class, it becomes so you into it. I cannot put a class. I need an extra hour. That's the point I'm making. I need an extra hour on your timetable for calculus one. If I don't get that extra hour, I am not going to be completing the syllabus. So I'm hereby recommending that that extra hour Actually. is no, because it's a one hour I want, and when I put it on a Saturday, incidentally, I'm teaching a class from eight o'clock to 12 o'clock on Saturday. And last, and in the summer, I taught an eight o'clock to 12 o'clock class on a Saturday morning, and then I had calculus two from one o'clock to five o'clock. And that killed my Saturday. So I don't plan to do that ever again. And what I find, if I were to log on for one hour, it didn't take half an hour to log on. And by the time I log on, I say, good afternoon, sir, the class done. So I'm hereby suggesting that on a Thursday when we start class at 7 o'clock, we go from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and we can arrange for a break in between. Let me hear and see the big stones that have been thrown at me now. What, what do you think initially about that? Sir, so 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay, but will we get some breaks? No, man, I did say that. I'll give you I'll give you a break in between. Yeah, that's all right. All right. But I promise you, um, there are students here who, me, who would have experienced something like that. Trust me, you see, after the first, first night, the first Thursday, come the second Thursday, but I found out is that people never even ask me for the break because we're just going and we're just going through. But I mean, I'm, I understand that some of you will be in commute because some of you leave work at five o'clock and you will get to your, well, on a, on a Tuesday that is. So you may not be settled in until like quarter to six, maybe six o'clock when you get home. In a case like that, I'm going to ask you just to keep your, 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 your phone on so you have to have enough data. Just keep your phone on, the class on, so that you can hear what is happening. Let me know. I normally know the students who are in commutes. I'll say, Christopher, you reach home yet? And Chris will say, yeah, man, sir, I'm just reaching. Or Chris can send a message in chat, sir, I reach home. So I can now engage Christopher in the session. So I won't necessarily engage you when you're on the public trans trans transformation, transportation, right? So... Over time, we'll develop that sort of relationships and know those who are in COVID. And of course, even if you're not taking public trans trans transportation, um, I'm in a math mode, so I'm talking about transformation. Transportation, you, I don't want you to be driving and, 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 and you can drive and listen to what I'm saying, right? Um, but I, I'll say to you that if you, if you do this, the 7 to 10 is really not bad. Um, we really will get through with it and get through with it um, pretty quickly. Um, and depending on how quickly we learn the stuff, we will move through, um, you know, sometimes even 9.30, we can, we can log off. So that's it for me. Thank you for coming out. Um, we will meet on Thursday um, at 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Is that okay? Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Okay, have yourselves a good one. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, and same to you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So you're hearing me? Oh, okay. Channel. Oh, Mr. Shand. Let's see. Hmm.
Good evening, Donald. Are you hearing me? Hello, are you hearing me? Wita, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Good evening. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Good. Good evening. I hear you, Mr. Rockwood. I just confirm uh, which class this is this, please. Pardon? Oh, I've had a bit of issue with all uh, my timetable. Is this being calculus? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. You are in the correct class you now. Oh, we told you that I, instead of Mr. Shan teaching you, I'll be teaching you. I see the young lady just box off and come out of the class. She's in oh, the yeah, right class. Yeah. She's in the right class. May just be a scheduling issue. I'll be going um, to school tomorrow. So if anything else, speak to Mr. Shan about that in my Pardon? Um, it may just be a scheduling issue. If anything, no, I'll no, just no, speak. no, 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 no. I am taking over this class from it. I am no longer Mr. Sean teaching the class. I am teaching the class now. Very good. All right. It's all right. When you come on, I just start. So, Donald, um, is the first doing pre calculus? Um, no, I had done it previously several years ago, but I'm familiar. Um, with the basic of trigonometry, what you need to know, for example, oh, um, Don, yeah. Donald, you are mixing pre-calculus with um, you are mixing up pre-calculus with you are mixing up pre-calculus. Uh, what are the with foundation maths? Oh, sorry, what are the Pre calculus is the course that you know logarithm with. You do know, logarithm. Oh, yes, I'm familiar with that. So, who taught you pre calculus? Um, I learned that several years ago, actually. Over no, I asked who taught you pre calculus because I teach in there 21 years. At, um, Pardon? I don't remember the exact lecture at UTEC, sorry. Oh, she so did it at UTEC? Yes, yes. Oh, so how you know that I am never record? Yes, my name come up. That's exactly right. Oh, good. Good evening, sir. I am never record. I've been teaching you the course. All right. So it's it's an easy course, but it's a course that have, you have to do a lot of work. Okay. Young lady run out of the class as she hear me voice. I have to tell her that still that, you know. Now this evening, my plan is just to introduce myself. My plan is just to take the time. And when I like the class, formulator, what you call a formulator, WhatsApp class, WhatsApp group. I would like the class to formulate that. You know, you have a WhatsApp. I communicate with my students with WhatsApp. So I like the class to formulate that. And then afterward, they're going to form a, what they call a, a class email. I send my notes via WhatsApp class email and also class email, yes, that's where I send my notes. And I also have to get a class list as a register. So Donald, where you work? Um, I had been working at some at um, a call center, I tell, but I basically saved up some money so that I could come to school and pay my bills. Hold on. No disrespect to you, Donald. You work at one of those those call said so you're going to get time for do my course donald talk to me no i was just saying i had been working um there seems to be a problem with the sound also um then repeat i had been working at the call center either, but that was just to save up some money so i could come to school so i'm not there anymore so so you you'll be able to attend class all the time that's exactly right yes good all right 
This course is a team. Work as a team. I teach you, you do the work. Once okay. you do what I tell you to do, you must get your A. All right. Right? With so God's help. With God's help. But you have to do your part and I do my part, right? Of course. Good. Is it seven o'clock yet? Um, it's a bit past seven. Three oh, minutes so. after. So what the rest of the class is now. Anyway, though, I'll just what now. I've been teaching this course from 1986. I taught ad maths at Queens. I spent 16 years at Queens, in which I taught 16 maths. Start from first form, second form, go right to sixth form. All right. I 16 maths, ad maths, and um, A level maths, right? Okay. I Then I came to Exed 2000. One, and I've been teaching pre-calculus per se. All right. I teach some component of the course when they teach do a level thing like logarithm. When when I was a student, I did logarithm. So therefore, um, you're going to do it comprises, but you have done pre-calculus, so you did it at UTEC. I taught it. When X said used to have UTEC students, you know, I taught the course them. I taught it pre-calculus to it's a nice course to the UTEC students. That was about 2003. All right. When X said you saw for the course franchise, a franchise with um UTEC. UTEC, yes, yes. So you did the course at UTEC, or you do it at X said it? At, at UTEC, UTEC. Um, I got a B plus in that course. Oh yes, well you know you know you won't find it prob difficult for you get a B plus because basically we'll be doing topics like indices, which I plan to do start off with laws mm -hmm. of indices, its application, exponential equations. You went to do laws of logarithm. Yeah, you know, this is all that fun cool stuff. Where you have the base yeah. and the index, and you add the index when you multiply, and that's what. Oh of thing. yeah, you re, you remember your basic thing, man. Yes, like that. Remember that, and um, yes, and um, let me see something now. You'll be getting that, and after that, you're going to do remain that theorem, remain that theorem. And after the remainder theorem, you're going to do matrices, Kramer's rule. I know that is a part, and that is nice. Determinants and all that fun stuff. Yeah, yes, yes, fun, 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 Kramer's rule. That is nice. And then after you do all of that, you do arithmetic progression, APGP. Now, Kramer's rule, APGP, they must come on your exam. Must, okay. must come. That. As your class go along, I will give show you the format of the exam. Okay. The format of the exam will be 30 multiple choice. Okay. And um, in section A, and two structure question, I think, in section B. Okay. So therefore, but I have to prepare you, which I will show you later on the course outline. All right. The course outline. Is now, every, is, oh, question, is everything going to be online? Yes, man. Okay. So, uh, well, it is an evening class, so that would make sense. Are you familiar with online class? Yes, yes. Which, which class you attend online? Um, well, it was um, for PC certification, actually. We also use Zoom. Well, you are on Zoom now. That's right. You are on Zoom now. I wonder if the, your classmate don't know the class start. Well, let's just say, well, let's just say I've been having a rather interesting experience with um 
come off the younger classmates and put it at that. I leave it at that. <laughs> um, why you say that your younger classmates them have in what way? Oh, well, just in terms of um, the scheduling, um, especially um, when to arrive and when not to arrive. Oh, so you already have class with them already? Uh, not even so much as that, um, just with um, Mr. Shan's WhatsApp group. Pardon? Um, just with Mr. Shan's WhatsApp group, um, Mark Shan's WhatsApp group. So, oh, you... Um, so wait, Mr. Shan taught you? Oh, no, he hasn't taught me, but he does have a WhatsApp group, um, basically, as the advisor. Oh, as the advisor? Yes. Oh, I see. I see some way out comments, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not laughing at what you say, but to be frank to you, you see a level of maturity where you compare to them, to their maturity. Yeah. Advice on all that. This is a nice course, though. It's an A course. It's not difficult and all that. With God's help, we can work as a team. No, I use the word team to be successful. And now, God's help. With God's help. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, he's going to give me divine wisdom. So you pray, say, he give us divine wisdom. Give me divine wisdom to teach the course to complete the syllabus that we have health and strength and you're able to understand. That's the thing. Now I teach this course, I give a lot of examples. If you go and do what I tell you to do, you find out the course is an insult to you. In a student fail to do Are you hearing me? Are uh, you dropping in and out? You dropped out after he said what students fail to do. Oh, are you hearing me now? I am, yes. Yes. As I said, students fail to follow the instruction. They fail to follow the instruction. And that's what caused them to perform poor. Mm -hmm. No, I knew that no. If you went to business department, school of business orientation, but in the maths department, we have a platform known as Edicosoft, in which we assess you. Have you ever heard about Edicosoft? No, I was on um I didn't even get to go to the orientation. The basically I basically got sent around and I was in circles to tell you the truth. All right. Let me inform you, as long as you're doing this math, co a math course at mm -hmm. EdSed, you're going to do assi your assignments mm -hmm. on a platform known as Edicosoft. Right. It, it is a platform where you have examples and they test you and they mark you know, about 20 as assessments for the semester, and okay. you have to do all of them. All of that I have to discuss tonight with, because on Thursday, you know that you have a class five to seven on Thursday. Uh, no, I haven't got my timetable as of yet. There seems to be um, a bit of a mix up. But if there's five, but if it's five to seven Thursday, that shouldn't be a problem for me to put down. Five to seven. Okay. How do you get the um question? How do you get the the link to come on? Um, I got it via spreadsheet that was sent for WhatsApp. You got it at spreadsheet that was sent to WhatsApp. Yeah. The Mr. Sean from Mr. Sean. Um, it was sent to someone who is in that book via email, but it wasn't sent directly by Mr. Sean. Oh, oh, oh I see. I will, will instead of Mark Sean, it is never record. You'll be seen teaching you the course. That is right? fine. 
my the young ladies say, wait, I want every minute class and all that in Mr. Shan class. Anyway, though, I mean, I assume that as the time go along, students will be popping up and coming and all that. I don't have no problem with that. I in, expect that in the first week, although in the first week, you always have like about 10 students, but coming to attend the class. Indeed. No, any question? Uh, not at this time, no. Let me show you, like how you are low, oops, hold on. Okay. Let me give you my number. Okay. My name? It's never awkward. My email? Never dot work order. At E C C dot E D U dot J. This is a J. Um, Got it. My number is. No, you notice I won't be recommending any book to do the course. I will supply you the notes. All right. All the other. By the way, are you a techie? Are you a computer person? Techie? Uh, no more than most. Let's just say that. Because what I always do, always have someone who one um whenever i have notes i send it to them they will upload it to my email okay you have problem doing that no no problem two um i always let my students select a particular student who have knowledge of computer to collect the names what they do, they collect the names, put in alphabetical order with their email and the ID number, and then send it to Mr. Sean for you to, for he to upload it to Edicosoft so that you can have access to your assi assignment. But you know words, right? Yes, yes. They, all right then you I'll I'll let you be in charge of that then. What they do, don't get bummy. Let me tell you. They will send you their name, mm -hmm. their ID, and their email. That's the email address associated with yes, yes. And you notice that your email address is very important. You use ECC. ECC. Yes, anything you want to get on to the is ECC email you use. Now you need all of that to register for EDICOSOFT. Also to your exam will be online. Okay. Your exam, have you ever done an online exam? Oh yes, yes. So your exam will be online, your coursework, which is your mid semester will be online and okay. it will be on EDICOSOFT. So that's why I wanted the class to start, to get off the, all this introduction and to, um, to start my teaching um, Thursday, God's willing. All right. But as I said, I just have to work with you alone. 
and go through it because what I am going through here is very important. What I'm going through there is very important. So, Edwards, tell me about yourself. Which high school you went to? Um, years ago, I attended Woolmers. Oh, yeah, Woolmerian. That I am, yes. Oh, you guys win the boys' champ every 100 years. No comment. <laughs> I like the way you say that. No comment. <laughs> Anyway, though, it was nice to know it the other day. Yes, yes, we run. I mean, well, I went to VR Technical. I'm from Clarendon. Four parts, so therefore. But when I went to Michael, you know, Woolmer's Boys School next door to Michael. I, I used to go over the boys' school. You know, yeah. so they have a nice lawn tennis court. Yep. I'm playing lawn Parker. tennis. Yes, I'm playing lawn tennis. You know, I went to Michael for three years. That was from when 82 to 85. And then... Uh, it was like what? Murder rate was 500. <laughs> I know, buy, man. Well, 1980, we... You can ask your parents about it. Yeah, but we, no. Yeah, but I know I'm a year now. It's worse than 1980, it seems. Well, if I know that technology and everything has increased, I believe that is only God can help. Only God, God's help can, can able to reduce the murder rate. I believe it's a spiritual problem. I mean, I believe in that. And my personal opinion that, you know? I understand. Because I've seen the different regime come in and they try their best. No government like murder rate. No government like that to, to decorate their record, no. But as I said, it's a spiritual problem. And we just have to pray and ask God for help. That's all I'm praying for the young men, them. The young mm -hmm. ladies, those. And we and look here, we talk about murder rate. What about the what about the white collar crime? Eh? Uh, some other that I saw in person because I actually right after around the time, um right after I um left Woolmers near that time, I'd actually gone to work for Cash Plus. Some of the people that oh. were around there were telling me that yes, this is a real business, this is a legitimate business. They want to step inside and say, oh, my God, this is a fraud. Mm -mm. Oh, well, so what you left, Wilmers? Uh, let me think. Uh, let me try to narrow it down. Uh, 2003. You, you, you be even like, say, you, 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 you left Wilmers in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that sometimes. Okay. And it's relative to the um to the students who are teach now in mm -hmm. first year, they are they born 2002, 2003. Yes, 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 yes. Millennium babies, them. Yes, yes. 2003, I was teaching at Texed. Never see I, a VCR. Never see a, them never see a VCR. No, they don't know they, what is a VCR. They never they, see that yet. Never you, see a big black TV. Well, a few of them see it, you know. The parents oh, which are right. them grandparents which have it. You know, yes, 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 yes. They don't know, they never see a telephone can record <laughs> player unless their grandparents, because unless their grandparents show them. They know what is they know about CD player players, but as I said, they have never seen a record player. They've never seen a 45 or LP. It's when you go your grandparents, they say that, don't it? Oh no, I try so no, actually, we could see it all physically when you're playing it as a session. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, so far back. You born in the 80s. That's right, yeah. 85, when you were 
Yeah, when you were graduating from Wilmots. From from Michael. Uh, from Michael, sorry. Oh yes, you are eighty five born. Well, eighty five after I graduated from Wilmots, I went to Queens and teach. All right. Spend, and you know, Queens School was named after the when Queen Elizabeth visited Jamaica. That Queens School, yes, yeah, she visited Jamaica. 1953, and then the school was formed 1954 in her honor. That's right, named the Queen's School. Pre independence, and a thing. They made the Queen's School. They have a block being the Beast Block. You say St. George, that is what England, and the cross and the dragon. Dragon is what Wales, the whole British thing, you know. Or oh, coat of arms stuff. Yeah, the coat of arms, yes. Yes. So, and then afterwards, now, I say I like to have a tertiary experience. I have a degree in maths and physics. Oh. Yeah. Don't tell me I'm mad, but I have a passion for it. Chemistry, no, I did chemistry up the first year of university. But we're, looking at math, we're looking at math and finance myself, but I'm more into the math side. Hopefully we can get that done at Excel at some point. Well, let me tell you something. It's a good course, you know. I hope I don't lose. It's a nice course, you know, uh, mathematics and finance. I mean, I had an input in formulating the course outline for the course, some of the courses and all that. Very good course. You are well-rounded. I mean, but you know, finance is a component of mathematics. Yeah. All, so that, fun, all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. Time series, regression oh. analysis, the stuff you went after, I went after the anyway. Oh, so wait. You are in maths, maths and finance group. Yeah, that's right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Very good. Good, nice course. You're going to do a lot of stats, a lot of integration. When you finish the course, you'll be a rounded person because you are, you'll be able to get a job. And if you plan to go, and do your bachelor's or uh, yeah, your master's in finance. The mathematics component enhance your ability to understand because finance has a lot of mathematical formulas, you know? Yep, that's the plan. You know, that's, 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 that. Oh, welcome to my, you are the second person. I taught a young lady in second semester, she named all. Mm -hmm. She's in the maths and finance group. She did my pre calculus with me. She did well. Used to go all the childhood. She did well. She did well. So it's good to know that I have someone who do maths and finance. Um, is there any question? You're free to ask. No problem. Uh, let me just double check. And at least 1750. 327-1750. Yes, that's my number. Since, let's see what time is it now? 727, I'll wait and hear what them say and all that. Any question you have done pre calculus already? You know that it is a prerequisite for you to do business calculus. Yep. Are you going to do? A lot of maths course you're going to do, you know. If you are a yeah. person who have a passion for maths, you'll enjoy it. Um, nice there's course. stats by definition, of course. Pardon? Well, you have stats after this by definition, of course. You have statistics? Yeah, well, after this, well, of course, statistics is one of the courses we'll be doing. Oh, it's nice. I like stats. I did three courses of statistics at more at university. I like stats. 
and I also teach the course. Too. In the associate degree, I teach all courses, all maths courses. And uh, that's, and I have to have a question. Oh, you're dropping, your volume dropping. Oh, I'm sorry, can you hear me better now? Yes, man, I'm hearing you now. And um, you went all the way to master's in that or just bachelor's? No, I just stopped at bachelor's. Okay. I did a double major, maths and physics. Yeah, I have a passion for it. Well, it's physics, let me like maths. <laughs> you know, in my day, when I did all level physics, I had to derive those formulas. Um, and also, to when I was doing mathematics in my days, I had to derive formulas. I don't swat formulas. When I'm doing O level, like making the variable the subject of the formula. So even stuff like kinetic energy, I had to do that. Yes. Half mv squared, all that fun stuff. Yes, because first of all, you have to know, you have to define what is kinetic energy. And you know that, that it is potential energy being converted to kinetic energy, mean energy because motion. of motion, yes. So you have to start off, and you have to derive it, you know. So you did physics. Yep, well, I said a long time ago. We'll oh, so we'll find that uh, certificate. Pardon? Yeah, you have to find that all level certificate too. So you do physics at all levels? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, got what year you went to Walmart? Uh, when you just try and remember what? Uh, 96 up to 2003 ish. Or was that it 97? Is, oh, that means say, uh, wait. You did GSAT? Uh, uh, no, my years, I was last year to do, last year to do common entrance. Oh, common entrance, yes, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, and you know, so like, oh, like, oh, you know, physics, you did chemistry too? Uh, no, basically, I, uh, basically, I stepped it out with um, geography, POB, and accounts. Well, you know, you're much better than me because if you ask me to balance a book, I can only apply Newton's mode of... I cannot, can only apply, say that the, the sum of the moments equals zero for equilibrium, <laughs> right? The sum of the moments equals zero, I mean the anticlockwise, equal to the clockwise and your balance right so the balance money but it balances energy and we um yeah yes so guess what where things are going energy man the more important than money well you know you need energy especially what taking place now i mean with electric cars what taking place but you won't believe that or not if god don't come for the world the next 20 years electric cars going to be taking over the world. Yeah. They're going to have that. Yeah. Well, I believe in God coming for more than electric cars, so, so that is me. Well, I notice I use the word, you know, if God don't come for the world, you know, because the technology is changing rapidly. Rapidly, rapidly. So therefore you doing, I never do any business course. I did straight natural science. I mean, when I was at high school, never do accounts. Now, my friend teach me economics. So mm -hmm. therefore I learned economics from them, from conversation, see, when I'm gonna apply marginal, when you do the business component of pre-calculus. Uh, okay. Yes, you talk about math at maximum profit marginal marginal cost equal to marginal revenue that is at at break even that is when the profit is zero and the cost function is equal to the revenue function because break even and if you're a football fan you'll observe that there there is financial you encounter financial 
punishment when if you do not have brave evil. Indeed. You know, that's what takes place in Europe. <laughs> I enjoy teaching it, you know, telling them that, listen now, I remember about five years ago when Scotland was demoted to third division, sec or second division, uh, because they're at their financial year, they did not have break even. The revenue all outweighed the cost. You know? So there was any break even. All of that we're going to do in and then when you do calculus, you're going to see how calculus nice, how it is applied to economics. How it's applied to economics. So your course is a very nice course. So we're going to teach you stats. Who is your next teacher? Um, 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 well, the courses that I have right now, I'm not doing stats this semester. I'm doing linear algebra, uh, pre-calc, theory, theory of lending, uh, theory of interest. Theory of what? Interest. Nice course, nice course. I, uh, I, I never do that course at university, but you have competent teachers. So who, who will be teaching your theory of interest? I'll just check here. Uh, theory, that would be Sylvester Kelly, Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, that's good, man, Tuesday and Thursday. So wait, after my class, On a, so wait. Your Theory class is in the evening. Theory of interest is in the day. So I basically come to school early yeah. uh, so, and come back home and attend your class. By the way, where is home? Patrick City. Oh, oh, oh Patrick City. So you live in the carpet here. And I assume you drive. Well, I'm visually impaired, but so it's the transportation system for me. Oh, but obtaining a drive is not something that's difficult. Oh, 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 oh. So therefore, you are the one who blessed with the sixth sense. <laughs> well, I have very good hearing. Oh, that part of you develop. Oh, I see. So you manage taking notes and all that. Well, I'm not completely blind, but I have no problem taking my notes, no problem practicing my exams, no problem looking on the PC. It's just that oh, my left eye is out. Oh, and the right eye doesn't really have much problem. But the right eye, um, looking on my phone right now, no problem. It's just that I get a lot of people asking me, oh, you have to hold up everything so close to you. Oh, it, yes, yes. I it's all right. I, 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 I. I have an idea what to go through. But thank God you're able to listen, you're able to do the work, and you're able to do that. You know, that's the beauty about it. That's the, the beauty about it. Another thing, too, at the end of every lecture, mm -hmm. you have recordings of the lecture. All right. Now, if you want to get A from me, don't wait until exam. You start or near to exam. You start cramp your brain. You look over your notes. Whatever you don't understand. In the next class, you find out that you can say, well, sir, before you start, could you kind of explain such and such and so. As a student, I find that much easier. And I also to explain that to my students that I'm teaching. Yes, so that when exam time, I'm able to understand the concept and do my revision. I revise by using past papers. Yeah. Right? Um, revise by using past papers. Good. So but we'll mostly see. using your notes. Pardon? But we will mostly be using your notes. Yes, that's why I don't recommend a textbook. But 
because some textbook treat you as mathematicians. And I don't treat you, you first, you're a business student, first you're doing these things. So therefore I go through step by step based on my experience teaching the course for such a long period of time. Like when I teach in indices, logarithm, whatever I teach you any topic to. I like to treat it as the first they're doing it. Whether you're doing it to, whether you do it already. Okay. I like to treat you as you're doing it first time in your life. Are you free to ask questions in my class? If I'm unable to answer your question immediately, I kind of dismiss the class five minutes earlier. And okay. like after class, you can ask me. I'll give you a five minutes extra if you want to. For so sure. That I can explain. Right? No. Any other question? Uh, no, not right now. A textbook, you don't need a textbook to do this course because I'm going to provide for you the questions, the problem people. I will provide for you the problem people and you just go, go straight and do it. Right, so therefore you won't have to do it. Understood. Let me see time more. Well, I have 60 seconds left. What I mean, I give me a time like about 7.40. So yes. at the end of my class, no, you have another. Oh, you have Mr. Kelly. Uh, well, let me just see here. Normally, this class should be 7 to 9. And as I stated, I didn't oh, this get would the... be This would be your last class for the night. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Mr. And, I've, and I haven't gotten a full timetable as yet. It does seem as if the mathematics and finance um, degree is having some delays in getting everything sorted out. All right then. But if it's you alone come to my class, you are where I teach. Fair enough. I can't live, I can't live with that. Good, good, good. All right, before, I think I've given all the information already. So any question? Uh, no. It's just um do we get uh with regards to the Edico stuff, do I pick that up um when everybody comes tomorrow when everybody comes to the most recent class? All right, first of all, I have to register you on so that you have a password. Okay. So therefore that's why I ask, you know, about I have to wait and after the one registration to do it. So I hope by next week everybody come, I can register you. Okay. And then you start do the assessment, you know, you do the assessment. And at the end of the semester, that's where your coursework, or let's I forget the assessment on Edicosoft is 15% of your coursework. I will give you, mm -hmm. you're going to have a mid semester test, your mid semester test values. 20% of your coursework. I will give you some asset assignment and that will add 5%. So therefore your total coursework is supposed to be 40% and your exam will be 60%. Unlike um, UTEC, UTEC is 50% coursework and 50% exam. Am I right? Yep. At exit, at triple CJ, that is the body that governs the exam or the community colleges it is 60 40 60 percent exam 40 percent coursework understood so, good all right if there's no question then i'm looking forward to see you towards the god's willing at five all right Okay then. And that's five on Thursday, five to seven. Yeah, five to seven. And no then problem. you have another class. You have another class after that. No problem. Absolute pleasure speaking to you. Nice, um, nice meeting you, man. It's a pleasure. I'm, I'm looking forward to teach you. Take it easy. Yeah. You have a good evening. All the best. Have a yeah. good evening to you. Yes.